but that yeah. was a song wow. by some brothers, huh? the uh, Doobie Brothers. Doobie Brothers. Yes. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Do you always perform together, guys? Uh, always when we meet, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we always try to bring, bring the guitars and, and our good moods. Mm. And this is the Icelandic delegation. Can you maybe introduce yourselves? Yes, we are Sony's friends from Iceland. Mm -hmm. I am Matthias, I'm a singer. Yeah. I'm Pavi, I'm a piano player and a singer. Okay. I'm Mignes, a singer and a guitarist. Okay. I'm Benedict, a drummer and a singer. Gunnar, guitarist and singing. Thorin, lyricist and director. Kramer, a model and a beautiful person. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's difficult to remember the songs, but <laughs> Icelandic is a really beautiful language. I, I understand to enter the uh, Icelandic national final, the song has to be sung in Icelandic. That's right, right? Yes. Is it up to the broadcaster to translate it, or can you keep the Icelandic version for Eurovision? Uh, we can keep the Icelandic version for Eurovision if we want. Mm. Uh, but, the, but the author and the lyricist can choose if they want to have it in English or Icelandic. But we have to translate it ourselves, the broadcaster doesn't do it. Okay. So our translation is uh, mine and my late husband's. Okay. Together, the so the song was already translated into English when you entered the final? Actually the song was originally written in English. Oh it was? Okay. And then Thorin did the Icelandic words. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and then our version is a mixture of the two. It sort of, I took as many words as I could from my husband's lyrics and kept the meaning of the Icelandic lyrics, which are my lyrics. So it's, sort of, it's a mixture from the two of us. Okay. So, so what is actually the message of the Icelandic version? It is basically the same message. It's uh, just how you have to uh, use every every moment and and every opportunity to be with the ones you love, to to hug your people, hug the people you love, and just spend time with them. Okay. Because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know if, if today is your last day on earth. Exactly. Yeah. Would yeah, it be also, oh, sorry. So, no. No. It also has the like the love is so strong that even though even after this life, even after our time here, we will still find each other again, and we'll all love each other again. Whether it's friends, men, lovers, or family. children, family. Yeah. So it has that as well. Well, may I say that you are a very powerful and strong woman. <laughs> Thank you. Would it be possible to get a, a short rendition of the song in Icelandic? Yes. Yeah. 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 Coming home in yeah. Icelandic. Yeah. Yeah. After, after the game. After the game. After. We are leaving, me be the Come to me, the Ferdalar, the Saman Shaman, the Gatanda, the team in She came third, actually. Third. No, uh, in in Europe, 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 yeah, yeah. She came third in the competition in Iceland this year. Uh, we just, uh, yeah, it was a lot of competition. A lot of the top performers in Iceland were competing with good songs. But uh, uh, the first time I heard this one, I, I thought, yeah, this is the one. This is the best song in the competition. So uh, that, that was my feeling from the beginning. Okay. That was before I was supposed to sing it. Okay. And I was singing another song in the competition. So. <laughs> yeah, you came together as well in rather sad circumstances as, as, as Johnny's friends, but are you trying to continue as friends together after Eurovision? Yes, definitely, because uh, <clears throat> there's a special chemistry in this group and, and uh, of course the do circumstances... You, so? Yes, except, <laughs> except for Vigny. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it was the sad circumstances that brought us together uh, because uh, we had all been working with Sonny on different occasions mm -hmm. and uh, uh, he was the center part of this group he was the glue that uh, brought us together meeting and and playing together and, and uh, so he's still kind of the center of the group just keeping us together 
and uh, we just uh, really love working together and, and we'll continue working together. Definitely. Hopefully for a long time. <laughs> Hopefully for a long time. And the albums plan to bring it out after Eurovision together, the new your music? Uh, we've been recently just started talking about it. Actually, we are meeting at the hotel tomorrow recording the first song. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 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 Made in Eurovision Village. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> okay. Um, Eurovision is, I don't know, maybe the only platform for Icelandic artists to promote yourselves on a big stage outside of the country. Um, you've been to Eurovision on many occasions. What, what kind of a memories and how important is Eurovision to you? Yeah, there are a lot of great memories. It, well, every trip has been really, really fun. Uh, the important, important thing is just, I mean, for me, just to have fun like we're doing now. And this is, of course, an opportunity to bring your music to other people. So yeah, you've written the songs, huh? You were with Birgitta. Yeah, I went on stage with Birgitta just as a guitar player. Okay. Then I went with Jomsi the year after because I was a co-producer, and then I wrote the song for Selma next year. Okay. Yeah. And then I produced the song for Eike Hugson. Eike Hugson. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And now producing. So that's your fifth attempt. Yeah. And I heard some of you are working together with Selma. Yeah, we've all worked with Selma on different occasions. I worked with her in the theater, in two places at least. Accent is so small. <laughs> yeah, actually, do we're all just big family. work together. Yeah. 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 I was actually her understudy for Singing in the Rain. When she played the lead in Singing in the Rain, I was her understudy. And I went on for her once. That's so interesting. <laughs> okay. It was fun. What's the first year after Hera Bjork has been there three times? At Eurovision, Hera Bjork, she yeah. came. Yeah. Right? Yeah, she yeah, was yeah. there in 2008, 2009. Yeah. Did she give you any messages before you came to, here? To us, yes. Yeah. She was very helpful. Everyone has been so helpful that have been here before, and giving us giving us advice on on what to do and stuff. So yeah, she's Hera is so lovely. Uh, I just got a message from her yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> what, did yeah. she, what did she say? Uh, Return my said hi. Because <laughs> <laughs> you just well, said keys. <laughs> <laughs> Selma has actually been ha helping us a lot as well. Oh, okay. okay, fantastic. Has the volcano calmed down? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. For now. So, no problem. So, no. I'm a yeah. specialist on volcanoes. Yes. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a lava lover. <laughs> Good place to lava lover. Better than the sheep. Okay, yeah, okay, finish now. Okay, thank yeah. you very much. All the best of luck to Iceland. Thank you. 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 Thank